Mike Clevenger and the red clad Indians take the field looking to finish off this four game sweep of the Toronto Blue Jays. Socrates Brito steps in. Payoff pitch swung out and missed. Stuck with a fastball away. And after falling behind 3 0, Clevenger comes back and wipes out Socrates Brito to start today's game. He checked. Did he go? He did. Oh. Third base umpire Dan Isonia punches him out. Right. Back to back so. case for Clevenger. From where we're sitting, it didn't look like it, Matt, to tell you the truth. Let's see. Well, they thought enough. The pitch swung on, rolled to third, sets, throws over. Mike Clevenger comes up with a 1 2 3 first inning, striking out a pair. Bowers at second, two down in the first, no score. Swung on, bang to third, inside the bag, base hit, fair ball down the left field line, headed toward the corner. Santana will have a two out RBI double. Bowers scores, and Santana continues to sizzle with just an incredible approach. Pitch away, and Santana staying on the ball, going the other way. Banged it inside the bag at third down the left field line. And folks, if Carlos Santana continues this approach, where you're not trying to hit everything out of the ballpark and roll over balls, just continue to do what he is doing, then he's got a chance to have an MVP type season. It's his team high eighth RBI. It's his second double of the year. And here's Tyler Naquin, the left handed hitting right fielder who is starting to really swing the bat well. And Naquin trying to bloop one down the left field line. That is a fair ball around third. Santana will score. Tyler Naquin with a two out RBI bloop single. That's three straight two out hits for the Indians. It's two to nothing. Uh, didn't hit it hard, but he placed it perfectly. So Tyler gets his first RBI of the year. And another two out base hit. That's a cutter up there. Cut fastball that he's been throwing around 91. And he just it got in on the hands, but he fights it off and placed it beautifully. So three consecutive two out base hits. Look at who's happy down there, Lindor. Enjoying every moment of it. Four strikeouts for Clevenger, who looks locked in today. Now the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Elevated the heater. Clevenger has five and three innings, and it's all Indians. 2 0 here in the middle of the third. So, second and third, nobody out for Toronto. Gritchick is now 0 for 5 facing Clevenger. Here's his 0 2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Big strikeout for Clevenger, his sixth. The 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him to chase the high fastball at 97 miles an hour. And he's one out away from working out of it. Now the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Tied him up inside. And Clevenger works out of it with three straight strikeouts with runners at second and third and nobody out. He's allowed just one hit. He has struck out eight. Now Clevenger into the fifth today, the 3 2 pitch. Breaking ball called strike three. McKinney threw the bat away as if to go to first base, and Jim Wolf says, Nope, nope, nope. That's strike three on a breaking pitch at the knees. He is bringing the fight to Toronto here today. Oh, swung out and missed way out in front of it. Well, that's what happens. He's sitting there at 95 most of the game, and then he just pulls the string on a breaking ball that comes in there at about 77 miles an hour. There's our Spectrum Mobile replay. Fourth inning, second and third, nobody out. Great breaking ball away to get the strike out. A high heater right there to get number two and elevated it inside. That's pitching at its finest. The one two swung on, ground ball to the second baseman. Miller digs it out, throws on to first. In time for the out, and the side goes in order. As Miller moves up to second, and here's Jose Ramirez. See if the Indians can get another run in here, pad that lead. Jose Ramirez with a two out base hit in the right center field. Miller around third, he will score. So the Indians for the third time today come up with a two out RBI hit. Now 14 out of their 30 runs coming with two outs and he chose to go at Jose Ramirez and I, I, I'll bet he's upset he did because Jose got the base hit to score the run. Breaking ball out over the plate and he pulls it. 
and beats that shift over there. Well, the Indians make it three nothing. That's a big add on. Look at the reaction. He knows. I don't know if he, he felt that that was a bad pitch. James Quinlan, head athletic trainer, talking with Terry Francona uh -oh. and Carl Willis. Maybe so that, that's that, why. Something. That would indicate something must be awry with Mike Clevenger, who is just dealing a one hit shutout through five innings, but Neil Ramirez is up in the Cleveland bullpen. Mike Clevenger has left today's game with upper back tightness, and we say that I think that's a little bit better than what most of us thought it could be when he left the game. Right hander against right hander, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Good. Now the 0 2 pitch. Brito checks and takes strike three on in the inside corner. He has struck out twice and walked. He's looking at the home plate umpire, Jim Wolf. Jim Wolf says, Look at your bat. Two down. Ramirez with a couple of strikeouts. Here's Freddie Galvis. Look, folks, when you're a team like Toronto is, and you have now struck out 53 times in this four game series. Stop looking at the umpire. And Galvis swings and misses. Chase the high heat. Neil Ramirez says, OK, Mike Clevenger, I'll try to top you. So Simbro is on here in this tough situation. He'll face the number nine hitter, Danny Jansen. And he swings. It's a line drive in a right field. That's a base hit. McKinney getting the wave. He will score into third Urania. He slides in safely. It's an RBI single for Danny Jansen. And the Blue Jays are on the board, trailing Cleveland three to one. And just like Billy McKinney did to start this inning, Jansen attacks the first pitch. And it works to his benefit. Simber, that sidewinding motion lets this ball run right over the middle of the plate. And Danny Jansen just goes with the run and smacks it. And here comes Terry Francona with an off day tomorrow, trying to get a five out save. And his pitch swung on double play ball to short. Stamets to second one. More off turns it. Brad Hand. Well, he comes on, and Brad Hand makes three pitches, gets an inning ending double play. Brandon Drury, he'll bat in the ninth as the Blue Jays' last hope. Struck him out. The Indians beat the Blue Jays 3 1 and improved to 6 and 3 on the year. It's their best start ever under Terry Francona.